All right, thank you, Wendy. Well, taking your phone for a swim may normally be a bad idea, but today, Sarasota County was using phones to help environmentalists learn more about the quality of our Sarasota Bay. ABC 7's Erica Jackson was at today's annual seagrass survey and shows us how volunteers use that new app to gather valuable data. More than 15,000 species live in the Gulf of Mexico, but now Sarasota County environmental specialists are keeping a close eye on the marine life in Sarasota Bay, including the water's flowering plants. So it's an important habitat, and it's uh, very important that we protect it. Scientists say seagrass coverage and marine life are signs of a healthy Sarasota Bay. 70% of the fisheries uh, species are 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 born in the seagrass beds before they move off to other locations. So it's an important habitat. Residents and other volunteers helped scientists examine the bay Saturday during the third annual seagrass survey. This year, environmentalists will have even more accurate information thanks to a new app created by the county's Enterprise Information Technology Group. Helps avoid transcription errors, uh, us being able to read the data forms when they do come into us in paper, and there's some built-in things in the app that kind of prevent errors from occurring. Volunteers analyze the seagrass while snorkeling or kayaking, then input the data using the smartphone app after heading back to land. The app includes pictures to help users identify the types of seagrass present and uses GPS technology to detect the precise location. Scientists will compare findings to research from the Southwest Florida Water Management District or Swift Mud. Where Swift Mud says in their layer there may be seagrass or certain types of seagrass, and with the volunteer data, it's like kind of re reaffirming that, backing it up. Environmentalists tell us a healthy bay means more visitors and economic benefits. And it's the recreational aspect, a lot of fishing and diving. Uh, if you enjoy the beaches, you want to have clean, healthy water. The county already has the results from about 30 different locations in the bay and hopes to have a full list of results completed by the end of the week. Reporting in Sarasota County, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.